So we're going to try and make drawings with accurate dimensions using SketchUp Free. So uh, search for SketchUp Free, find the link, click Start Modeling, and then I'm going to sign in with my Google account. And then it may take a moment to load, but once you do, you'll get a screen like this. I'm going to delete that guy, and then I want to draw my part. As you can see, my part has very specific dimensions that need to be followed for anyone or by anyone who is making my part. So if I go into SketchUp and I just make it anyhow, I uh, just make a rectangle, I pull it up, draw a square on the top, and then pull that up, I have made something that looks like my part. So now let's make the dimensions for the drawing. Click on the tape measure, but don't use that tool. Find the dimension tool. And then click on the sides, but only when they're all blue. And then pull away and release, and that will put in your dimensions. Click on the line when it's blue, pull away, and it'll tell you how long that line is. And you can see that this piece is 5 feet 9 inches long and over a foot tall. So this is way larger than the piece that I intend to make. All right, so I'm going to use my arrow tool, drag around it to select everything, and then press my delete button or backspace button to start fresh. Now, this time I want to make it with the exact dimensions that were in my drawing. So now I want to make a rectangle for the base, and I want to be specific. I want it to be two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And you can see in the lower right hand corner, they keep track of the dimensions of that corner. Now you can also specifically type in what you want. To do this, click your first corner of the rectangle, move the second corner over, but do not click. Start typing two and a quarter inches, comma, then put the second dimension of 75 hundredths inches. Don't put a label, just put it in and then hit enter when you're done typing. And then you can zoom in and see that you have the rectangle. Now go back to your dimension tool and you can highlight those lines and you can verify that they have the correct dimensions of three and a quarter by two and a quarter. You can even use specific dimensions with the pull-up tool or the push-up tool. So choose the tool, click on the surface you want to extrude, pull up, and you'll see that it's keeping track of the distance for you in the lower right hand corner. Now all you got to do is you start it, bring it up, do not click, and then type in the exact distance that you want. In this case, I want it to be one and a half inches. So I can type in 1.5 or the Frac the mixed number one and a half inches. Hit enter and it will grow to the exact dimension. Now I need to cut out the corners so that it matches my piece. I can start the rectangle, but don't click for the second corner. Just type in the dimensions that you want. So I want it to be three quarters of an inch in both directions. So I'm going to type in 75 hundredths, comma, 75 hundredths, then hit enter. And then it'll finish the rectangle for me. Then I can pull it down. I want it to go down three quarters of an inch. So I type in 0.75 for the decimal. Now I need to do the other cutout, which is another 3 quarters by 3 quarter inch cutout. So I'm going to type 0.75, comma, 0.75, hit enter, and it'll finish for the second corner of the rectangle for me. Pull it down part way, and then type in the distance I want it to go, and it will drop it down when I hit enter to the exact distance I want. Now I just need to finish putting on my dimensions. Make sure the line is all blue. You might need to zoom in. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse, zoom in, get the line blue, and then click, and then move and create the dimension.
And now I have a part that any manufacturer could make because they would know the exact dimensions. When you're done, make sure you go up to save, give it a title, and save your work. Make sure you choose a folder it won't let you save, and then save. All right, so maybe you got the right idea now, or if you need another example, here we go. Click and make a new model. I'm working in feet and inches, so I choose that. All right, I'm going to start off by deleting this guy. And the part I'm going to make looks like this. I have the exact dimensions that I need. So I'm going to start with my base, click the first corner of the rectangle, move it over to find the second one. And it makes it really small, so I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in. Now I need to use the push-pull tool. I pull it up part way, and then I type in the one and a half inches, 1.5, and hit enter, and it'll finish it for me. Okay, I want to take off a three-quarter inch square here, or cube. So I type in 0.75, comma 0.75, hit enter. Finally bring down that corner a qu three quarters of an inch by typing 75 hundredths. Do your dimensions, make sure the lines are blue, click on the line, and then pull away, and you're going to see the dimensions. That one's extra, so I'm going to delete that. I need one more. Make sure that you dimension the height, width, and depth. 